Hello everybody, Swami Nath here. Today we are going to see outstanding people on open purchase order or outside outstanding purchase order. Okay. Now let's create. I'm going to create two purchase orders. Me twenty one yen. Me twenty one yen. Let me create a purchase order here. The, my supplier, France supplier, FR10 is my purchase organization. Let me enter the material. This is my material. One is 10 quantity. Let me enter the plant here. FR10 is my plant. Another one I'm going to enter. FR10. Let me save this. My purchase order is. Four five double zero double zero five four eight zero. It's my purchase order. Let me create another one more purchase order. Supplier. If you want to know how to create supplier and material, a link has been provided in the description. Check the link. Now let me enter the material here. This time here I'm going to enter twenty quantity. Let's go to the right. Enter plant. Fr ten. Storage location. Fr ten. And save it. Another one more purchase order I have created. For this purchase order, before that, let me go to. I'll do one thing. I'll create a goods receipt in slash and MIGO. One, I'll create a goods receipt. Let me enter purchase order number here. Scroll down. Item OK and post. Item OK and post. And post. Now let me do slash in MIGMO, MIR, vendor invoice. What do you vendor invoice? Let me enter the date here. Calculate tax. Let me enter the purchase order number here. Amount 12980. The amount here. This is the amount I'm going to enter. I have entered here. Now press enter. Baseline date upon which we have to pay the supplier and save it. Now let's go to ME2N transaction. ME2N. Press enter. Let me enter this sub this purchase of purchasing document and another purchasing document. If you're not entering any purchasing document, you'll be able to see all the documents. Now execute. Let me execute this and see here. Purchase order history. The symbol, if, it is, if the symbol is here in this, then we have done goods receipt and invoice receipt. The symbol is not here, then we haven't done. We didn't do more goods receipt and invoice verification for 20 quantities. See here. Now let's go to the right. Let's go to the right. See here. This is open. Open delivery quantity is zero because I have done GR and invoice application. Open delivery quantity is 20 because I haven't done GR for this. And open invoice 20 because I haven't done invoice. I didn't do invoice. That's the difference. So if you want to, if you want to do, upload it here, you can export it here to the local spreadsheet. Spreadsheet, export spreadsheet. Yeah, again, I'm doing that. Go here, list, export, spreadsheet. Open purchase, open. We move today's date, 16 May. May. Export to Taking a little bit of time. Flash it, can we go in? Let me enter this. Execute. Select. Export. Spreadsheet. Export. Desktop, 
c'est allô allô see it that's what uploaded to the spreadsheet see with the this symbol if the if the symbol is here you have done the PO history purchase order history will be there in the display purchase order if the symbol is here the symbol is not here in this this purchase order history is not available in me 23 and display purchase order okay and the more you can see here also open quantity open delivery quantity 20 and open invoice quantity 20 but whereas here i have done via open delivery quantity zero and open invoice quantity zero that is the difference you can filter it out here itself if you want to do filter you can do filter it out and you can check which are all the open purchase order available thank you